Today, you will learn how to design the super useful headphone stand that clamps to your desk using the thread tool in Fusion 360. What's up guys, I'm Steven with SoCal3D and I'm your new 3D printing design guru. I'm here to help you design your first or early 3D printing projects without needing any prior experience. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, our parameters first. Um, we're just gonna add one this, this week. We're gonna call this offset. And I want this to be 0 0.1 millimeters. And it'll be a little bit more obvious why we do that um, when we get to that. So the first thing we're gonna do is start off a sketch. And then we're gonna draw, for our headphone halter, we're gonna draw a shape that looks kind of like this. So the, the top the top hook is gonna hold the headphones and then this bottom hook it's designed to hold like the wires if you, if you have some wired headphones. Okay, now we're gonna constrain this up. We're gonna make this vertical. We want these three lines to be collinear. Okay, now we're gonna dimension add some dimensions. Okay, if you need to right now, just pause the video um, so that way you can get all copy all these dimensions down for, for your design. If you don't want to use these dimensions, that's fine. You can customize it to whatever your needs are. Um, so once you got all that down, we're, once everything is constrained, can't drag anything out anywhere, um, we're going to hit finish, finish a sketch and then extrude this. Symmetric. We want this to distance, whole length. We want the whole length, the thickness to be 1.25 inches. Okay, now we're gonna make this top surface uh, curved to to hold our headphones better. So we're gonna start a sketch right on that plane. And in order to to see. Um, our work better. We're gonna do inspect section analysis and then we'll click on this face. And just flip that around in order to, to see better and then drag it a bit. So now we can kind of see our sketch as we work on it. So what I'm going to do is project this line. And then I'm going to create a center line. Doesn't matter how long it is, just for construction. Then I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to set the diameter to, to three inches. And then there's a few more lines that we need to project. We want to actually intersect that face and that face. That should be good. I'm going to turn off the section view. Now we're going to extrude cut. I just left click and hold in order to get this dialog box. And we're going to click on these two profiles. Then extent to object and we're going to click this face. So you see that gives us the nice curved face for our headphones to rest on. Okay, so um, this is going to be the clamp part that goes on that clamps to, to your desk. So in order uh, we usually have stress concentrations at sharp corners, so to get rid of that, we're gonna add some, some chunky fillets. 
Zero point two inches should work. Okay, now we're going to add the the thumb screw uh, that will clamp uh, to the desk. So we're just gonna create a sketch on that face. And we're gonna draw a construction line like that because then we could snap to the center point and that'll put it in the center, the, the circle in the center of this face. So we're gonna say 0.75 inches. Now we're gonna extrude this profile through all and flip it so it goes that direction. Okay, so now we're going to add our thumb screw. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an offset plane. Offset this face by one inch. Hit OK. And now we can create a sketch on this plane. So we could just make a circle, but we're just going to project this circle. Uh, we're also going to draw another circle for the outside part of it. I'll just say 1.2 inches. Hmm. Maybe one point. DB5, that looks better. Okay, so now we're going to extrude this first part a distance of, see what 2.5 inches looks like, that direction. Okay, 2.5 looks good, and then for this operation, make sure that it's set to new body because we don't want it to be part of this, um, the clamp part. Hit OK. We're going to show this again. And then we want to extrude, we want to create a handle for this thumb screw. So we're going to want to extrude that like 0 0.3 inches. Looks good. And we want that to join, to join with that. So now under our bodies, we have our body one and our body two, and we're gonna wanna make these components now. So you left click, create component, or I'm sorry, right click, create component from bodies, and now we can name these two. We'll call this screw, we'll call this clamp. Uh, and to get these colors, like the different colors, cause yours might be gray, you just go to inspect component color cycling toggle. So that just kind of changes the color so you so you know which part is which. Really quickly, if you're enjoying this video or learned something, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, please consider supporting me on my Etsy store, link in description. Now back to the tutorial. So now we need to make this thumb screw uh, grippable. So we're going to do something. First, we're going to activate this. And we're going to do something. Start a sketch on here. Project that edge. Open up our sketch folder and right click to look at. Okay, so now we'll draw some construction lines. I'm holding control to select both of them at the same time and then click construction. Okay, so now we want three-point arc. I want this and that to be tangent. We can dimension this to be 0 0.1 there. That's to be 0 0.1 there. Now what we can do is 
we want to pattern this now around the center point. And so to do that, we go circular pattern. So for the object, we just want this one arc and then the center point, we click right here. Then to adjust the number, because there's only three right now, we click on this little dialog box right there, we want four. Okay, that's looking good. Finish a sketch. Now we're going to extrude these profiles up to this face. Make sure it's set to cut. That looks good. Now, what we can do is add a chamfer to this. Just to make it a little bit nicer to hold. Okay, that looks good. We'll hit okay. Okay, now it's time to add the the threads to our part. Um, so we're gonna go back to our top level um, design, and then under um, actually we wanna go back under the clamp, and then under create, there's a thread tool. Um, there we go, thread. And you just click on this, this surface and it'll automatically detect um, that we want 0 0.75, we want 3 quarter 10, because that's the coarsest uh, thread out of all of these. So the way that you read these is um, 3 quarters inch, that represents the diameter of um, whatever thread you're, you're making. And this, this dash number represents how many threads there are per inch of um, screw. So say 3 quarters dash 10, there would be 10 th uh, basically like loops within one inch uh, vertical distance of like the end. And so 3 quarters dash 32, there would be 32 turns within one inch. So this is a lot more fine than, than this is. Generally for 3D printing, we want as coarse, coarse of a thread as possible because um, the finer you get, the it's harder to print that detail with a 3D printer. So we're going to keep this as, as 3 quarters dash 10. And something really important, we want this to be modeled. Um, so that'll actually put the threads into, because if we don't have this checked, um, it'll just kind of add a decal and it's just a picture. The threads won't actually print if you, if you don't have this button checked. So it's really important. And then we'll just hit OK. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing to the clamp, or to the, sorry, I named these the opposite of what they should be. This should be screw, and this should be clamp. Okay, so we're going to activate the clamp, and then we're going to do the, the thread tool, the same thing on this inner surface. Make sure it's checked as modeled. Three quarters dash ten. That's what we want. And hit OK. So right now, um, if we did a section view of the middle, um, so inspect section analysis um, under origin. So let's just move this up so that the, the threads align. So I, I just entered a value of 0 0.05 inches into the, Z, into the Z distance. So you can see Fusion 360 automatically adds um, some some distance right here in between the parts, but right now this is way too tight for for 3D printing uh, tolerances. 
So we're gonna have to add an offset to the screw face. So we're gonna go down into the screw and we're gonna wanna push pull see, this face and this face. And we're gonna enter a value of negative offset. Wait for it to load. Hit OK. OK, and we're going to do the same thing to, to this face right here. We want it to be negative offset. OK, so now we can add some fillets to, to these edges. It'll make our threads stand up or last a lot longer. See what 0.01 it just looks like. Okay, that looks good. Just have to let it load and think. Okay, so now that we added um, fillet to that edge, we're gonna wanna fillet these edges as well. So we're gonna activate clamp down to fillet, add the same fillet, the same size fillet, 0 0.01 inches, right there. Okay, so now we have added some, some tolerance, or like more distance between the threads, and this will allow it to um, actually work on a 3D printer. Um, so that offset value, you might have to change it depending on your printer. Uh, this is a generally a good value that works with most printers and it's what I use. Um, and so our our clamp is looking pretty done. Uh, I would just add a few more fillets, uh, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna include that in the video because uh, the only things that I would do to finish this would be to get rid of these sharp corners, um, chamfer and fillet, maybe add a logo if you want. Um, but this is this is looking like it'll work. So uh, in order to export this as an STL, uh, first we want to change the units to millimeters, and then we're going to want to right click and save as STL on the individual components themselves because we want to print these separately. So I already, I already have, um, did my own design. I, I did basically the same thing that I showed, just added a few fillets and chamfers. Um, and so then once, once you do that for the screw as well, you're gonna right click, save as STL, hit okay, save it as whatever you want. Then you go into your slicer. And then you wanna add them and I'll show you how. You wanna make sure that this screw is printed like that. And then I just like to move my parts to be generally as close as possible to reduce the travel distance for, for the nozzle. Uh, nothing, nothing special here, we're just gonna hit slice now. And this is ready to print. Um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, uh, please leave, leave a comment. I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you for watching.